Let me go to John, uh, Jay Gruden getting hired by the Redskins. And I know it's tough because people say, well, okay, what, my opinion is what, what kind of coach is he going to be? Or he's going to be a great coach. Or With the Redskins, I, I simply don't know if Jay Gruden gets a chance to be the head coach. Um, is he an enabler for RG3? Daniel Snyder's role in all of this. Bruce Allen. I mean, it's, that's one of those where I, if I'm handicapping this, I assume it's going to end poorly because yeah. it's the Redskins. Uh, yeah. how do, what do you think of the hiring, first of all, by Gruden? Well, I really like Jay Gruden as a guy. I've been around him quite a bit. I think at the end of the day in in Cincinnati, he didn't run the ball enough, um, and, and I think that really ended up hurting them as a team this year. But having said that, I think he's a qualified, good coach, and it's not just a nepotism thing. And again, I realize that everybody is going to look at this and say, well, geez, all he's ever been is a head coach in the Arena League and the UFL. Well, you know, he's won championships in in both of those. And if somebody were to say that a baseball manager, let's say, um, let's say the Boston Red Sox promoted the guy who won uh, in Double A, uh, won a championship in Double A, and then the next year in Triple A, and a couple of years later the Red Sox made him the manager, or Cleveland, or Kansas City, or whoever. Would anybody really rip that? I, I, I don't think so. And I'm not saying that Jay Gruden deserves it over other guys who've won it in the in the Arena League or, or the UFL, anything like that. All I'm saying is that. I do think he's a very smart offensive guy who is not just his brother's brother. 